Okay, for model seven, I have sales, my continuous response variable, and I have advertising, a continuous predictor, price difference, a continuous quantitative predictor, and then shelf location, a factor or a categorical predictor or explanatory variable. And I'm just going to run that and print the summary. And you can see that we have an R squared of uh, almost 0.78, and that all variables were statistically significant. So um, with uh, a one unit increase in advertising, sales goes up by 0.12. That's in thousands of units. So 1,200, and, I'm sorry, 120 units. When the price difference goes up by a dollar, that is, ours becomes a dollar more than our competitor, our sales go down. Uh, that looks like by a thousand, that would be um, 93 units. Then with everything else held constant, when we move from a bad location, our reference group would be about 3.9. That's our reference group is a bad shelf location, but it would go up by 1.77 if you had a medium location. And again, in comparison to the reference group from bad to good, uh, it would go up by 4.73 about. Okay, let's look at a graph here of all of this. Uh, we'll use a 3D scatter plot. And And I want to note here, I'll just put a comment in that that was in the RGL package that you would need to uh, require in order to get to the scatter 3D. And run. And now what you'll see is, we've seen these in the other two, that is our price, there's inverse price relationship between our price and sales, our price difference. and Advertising, it's going to be harder to see on here, but it goes up kind of to the back there. And you can see three planes here, one for each shelf location, the bad, the medium, and the good. 